All right, guys, how are you doing? Now, a couple of weeks ago, I helped a boxer called Tommy cut eight kilograms on the week of his fight to get him down weight. Now, it's a lot of weight to lose, but I'm going to tell you exactly how we did it completely for free. I don't even want anything from you. So what we had to do is, from the Sunday, the week before the fight, we had to start water loading him. So we started off with seven and a half litres, then we went to seven and a half litres on the Monday, then we dropped to five litres, then to three litres, and then to one, and then we virtually had no water up until the weigh-in. Now, the reason why we do a water load in a weight cut is because what it does is it tricks your body and instead of holding on to that fluid, what it does is it just gets rid of it all. So you'll be constantly peeing, sweating and getting rid of that extra fluid and water waste which is already inside you, okay? Then what we had to do is we had to make sure that we were making the right changes to a diet and since he had seven to eight kilograms to cut, we had to make some adjustments to his carbohydrates. So we lowered his carbs to around 75 grams per day. We lowered his fiber intake to 10 grams per day and we completely removed salt and sodium from his diet. So we avoided seasonings and different kinds of like Himalayan salts, Celtic salt, rock salt, that kind of thing. What we also did is we kept the food volume low. So we had smaller portions of food, but we still had three to four meals every single day. But what we did is we made sure that he was getting meals into his body as early as we possibly could in the day. And we also made sure he's finishing them meals earlier in the day because that gives his body enough time to actually deal with that food, digest it and get rid of it. And like, if he goes to poo, that's even more weight coming off. So that's ideal. So... This is how it worked and it went really well. So he did this alongside active sweating methods. So going for light runs, going in the sauna, going on the bike with a sauna suit, skipping. And that helped to get rid of the extra water weight. And you'd be surprised at how much weight actually comes off because we expected him to lose seven kilogram and he ended up losing eight kilogram in the end. So what we did is we got the weight off, bang, got to weigh in, everything was fine. But then what we did is we refueled him and rehydrated. So we refueled with 8 to 12 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight. And what we did is, after weighing, he had a day before, so we spread that across six meals to make sure that we was avoiding any bloating and we was getting the carbohydrates in the appropriate rate to synthesize muscle glycogen levels and get his energy levels back. To actually hydrate him, though, after the weighing, what we did is we focused straight away on getting a hypertonic solution into his body. What a hypertonic solution is, is a combination of carbs, sodium and fluid. But what it consisted of was 300 mils of original red lucasade, 300 mils of a bottled mineral water and half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then what we did is after that, we started getting fluid into his body at a rate of one litre per hour. And that was extremely good for his body because what that does is it means your body can take the fluid in at the appropriate rate. Because if you just weighed in and you're trying to rehydrate your body and you just shovel loads and loads of water down you, your body's just going to carry on peeing it out and it's not really good for you. And he did this perfectly. And on the day of the fight, he fueled himself up with six to seven grams of carbs for every kilogram of his body weight. And this was perfect for him. He had energy levels and he had a good fight. So listen, guys, if you like this information and you want some more guidance on how to cut weight properly and the right dietary methods and sweating methods to use, just give me a follow for more.